Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rob. Thanks for tuning into the Rob's Knowledge YouTube channel. And today we're going to teach you a little something. So if you can't tell already, today we're going to be showing you something to do with our torch lighter here. Now, as you can see, the torch lighter lights, but it's not a torch lighter right now because our butane is so low and I'll cut the lights so you can see it a little bit better. And see, as you can see, it lights, but it's not exactly a torch. It should be going a lot faster and using more fuel. So we're going to show you guys how to refill your butane lighter. Cut the lights back on real quick. And this is going to be very simple. Now, if you've never done this before, you probably want to do it outdoors just to be safe. Some of the cheaper lighters, um, it will spray fuel out of here, but I haven't experienced it very often mainly just on bigger torches where the seal isn't very tight and reliable so just let any extra fuel out of here if there is any so it's pretty much done you'd be able to tell when it is going to a torch but so you're gonna flip the lighter over and we're gonna find our refill valve. Now keep in mind, if you don't have a refill valve, there are ways to refill certain lighters without it, but I'll be doing a separate video on that and I'll post the link in the description. So very simple, you see the valve for your butane here and your butane tip. And what do you know, those are both the corresponding sizes. You put your butane inside of your inlet valve Sorry, trying to get a good angle. And then you basically just let it go in. Oh, yeah, see, like this one is spraying out butane on me a little bit, which is why you need to do this in an area with proper ventilation around no pilot lights or other sources of ignition. Let's see if I can line this up a little bit better. There we go. Now we're not getting any spraying out. So make sure you get a nice firm connection. Depending on your lighter, I would hold it for 3 to 10 seconds, and you should be good to go. Now keep in mind another reason I told you guys to make sure you do this in a ventilated space is all that butane that just sprayed out you wouldn't want to go ahead and just light your lighter with all that butane gas and maybe end up causing an explosion. That would not be good. So we're going to go ahead and let this lighter sit for a good 10 to 20 seconds. While I do that and let this sit here, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications on so you are notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you also hit that thumbs up button because it helps out my channel. And also, just because you can. Hey, it's free. Alright guys, enough of the jibber jabber. Here we go. We're going to turn our lights back off and we're going to see what we have now. So you guys could barely see it before, and hopefully we can see it a little better now. There we go. Now I got it lights out. So now, here's our new Tupac lighter. Bam. And the butane is still warming up, so that's why the flame is a little off. But as you can see, it's working a lot better. It's actually full now and it's got the whole green hue at the top of it because of the attached metal that you can see inside right there the piece glowing at the end but that is all I have for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed I hope you learned something and I'll see you guys in the next video peace